Pabuhay! Ako po si Gary Garcia, isang senior high school teacher at uh, college instructor dito sa Central Zone. Welcome to another episode of G Suite for Education featuring Google Sheet. Para sa episode na ito, I will show you how, how to use the function of autofill. So ito po yung nasa lower right corner ng ating cell pointer. So ano po ba, ang, ano po ba yung gamit nito? Ang gamit po ng autofill ay mas nagiging mabilis ang ating trabaho. Basta't meron pong pattern or repetition, kayang-kayang pabilisin ang dapat natin gawin. Ibig sabihin, kapag may series, pwede natin hindi na itype lahat. So magagamit po natin ito sa ating class record at sa marami pang bagay. Okay? So ano po ang ibig kong sabihin sa autofill? Yung autofill po ay uh, yung nasa lower right corner nga po. So Meron po ako ditong sheets, okay? Ang autofill po natin ay natatawag ay itong nasa lower right corner ng ating uh, cell pointer. So kung saan man nagpunta yung ating cell pointer, yung nasa lower right corner na box, siya po yung tinatawag natin na autofill. So together with the autofill, we make use of the mouse pointer. When you move our mouse pointer to the, to the autofill holder, magbabago po yung ating mouse pointer. So, ano pong use yan? For example, use type Monday. Okay? And then you press enter and then you go back. So, pwede nyo pong i-drag yan. Let's say, i-drag ko po hanggang dito sa 13. If you notice, hindi nyo na kailangan i-type ang lahat ng araw. Okay? So, there are 7 days in a week. So, after 7, it will go back to Monday. So, halimbawa naman po, January. So, just move back to cell pointer and then Instead of dragging down, another tip pong ibibigay ko sa inyo ay double click. So when you double click, look what will happen. Double click at ang gagawin po niya ay, oops, nare. double click. Tada! Hindi niyo na po kailangan i-drag para mas mabilis yung ating trabaho. So ano pa po, po ang meron dyan? Halimbawa po, meron tayong pattern. One and two. So it's increment by one. You highlight the two cells and then double click it again. And you'll have 1 to 13. So, ano po po ang pwedeng gawin? Halimbawa po, student number 01. And then, student number, let's say, student number number 02. You don't have to do it up to 30 or 40 students. If you have 40 students, just highlight the two cells, double click, and then you have the series. Okay po? So, spreadsheets is more on the formula. So, maglalagay lang po ako ng random numbers dito. Para po makita ninyo na hindi lang po uh, numbers, letters, or text ang pwede niyang gamitin na... Uh, Palitan ko lang po yung number dito. So, ayan. So, di ba usually po sa spreadsheet, yung marunong po mag-spreadsheet, nagta-type po tayo ng formula. So, equal to, let's say, uh, natin, gusto natin makuha yung total ng 4 and 5. We make use of the cell address. So E1 plus F1, and then we press enter. So 9. So kung gagawin po natin yan sa lahat ng row, we just have to double click again, and it will copy kung yung formula, but not the actual cell, but it's the, re the re uh, relative to the cell. So yan po yung ating tinatawag na autofill, the magical one. Okay? So marami pa po yan. Halimbawa po, meron tayong minus 4, and then we have minus 2, it's a decrement of 2. So, double click, ayan lang po. So, yan po ang ating autofill. Para makabilis, hindi natin kailangan mag-type ng 1, 2, 3, up to 40 if you have 40 students. Okay? So, sana po nagustuhan nyo ang ating session ngayon. At kung meron pa po kayong ibang gustong malaman na uh, about spreadsheets or document or slides or forms or site, let me know by typing a comment and I'll glad to answer all your questions and queries. Okay? Paalam. Bye-bye.